Canadian exchanges are delisting XRP, leaving fewer trading options in North America. But we are going to look at this story and more, so stick around with us until the end. Now, the Canadian cryptocurrency exchange BitBuy has actually announced that it's going to delist XRP, which is the seventh largest cryptocurrency by market cap. And uh, it's going to delist XRP on January 13th next year, 2022. Of course, the exchange allows users to trade the token against the Canadian dollar and Bitcoin. And in January, XRP Canadian dollar or the XRP Bitcoin pair markets will both be removed from the trading platform. And BitBuy is actually urging users to withdraw any remaining tokens from the exchange before the delisting takes place. Of course, BitBuy also add that XRP will be replaced with other unnamed cryptocurrencies. And uh, in early December, BitBuy had actually obtained approval from the Ontario Securities Commission to operate as a fully registered dealer, becoming the first crypto trading platform in Canada to achieve such a feat. Of course, in most recent announcement, the exchange states that it has to follow the OSC's guidelines to decide whether or not a certain cryptocurrency can be classified as a security. And BitBuy says that it has to take into account the opinion of international regulators. Of course, the exchange does not rule out that XRP might be relisted on the platform if the regulatory environment changes. And uh, in their own words, they say that we will continue to monitor the status of XRP and should things change, we will act accordingly. Of course, earlier this month, Newton, who's one of the leading cryptocurrency exchanges in Canada, had also announced that it would also delist the XRP coin along with Tether, which is the largest stablecoin. And the United States Securities and Exchange Commission's landmark lawsuit against Ripple was actually filed roughly a year ago. And that actually kicked off a nasty legal battle that XRP proponents claim will have a major impact on the broader cryptocurrency industry. Of course, in January, a slew of US-based exchanges, including Coinbase, Kraken, Binance.us, and even other trading platforms, had all moved to halt XRP trading, and that was due to regulatory uncertainty surrounding the cryptocurrency. And the lion's share of XRP's trading volume comes from Binance and Huobi. Now, in other news, let us look at the market price analysis and uh, we are going to look at Avalanche against the US dollar pair in this video. And the price of Avalanche's AVAX has almost remained the same since yesterday and the drop constituted only 26, 0.26%. Of course, despite the slight price drop, AVAX is trading above the vital support at $76.00. And if bulls can hold this level, there is a chance to return to the zone of the most liquidity around $90 one more time. And such a price action might actually be more relevant if the buying trading volume increases again. AVAX is actually currently trading at $81.87 at the time of making this video. So yeah, that's what I have collected for you. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing and also do consider giving us a like because it does really, really help us a lot. Thank you very much for watching and until the next update, bye-bye.
hello guys thank you very much for watching this video if you've reached this far please do consider giving us a like because it does help us really a lot and also do consider subscribing for daily crypto news updates uh, on a 24-hour basis thank you very much for watching bye, -bye.